Off the puck, Everett gets to it behind the net. Looking to center out from behind the goal is Nikita Nikolishin. Nikolishin comes out from the right circle. Shot on net, save is made. The Teepers bang it to center right. We're tripping at 8 12. Everett coming in 14th on the power play. Have the puck blue line. The blast by Juleson on net, save, rebound, smothered and held in the crease by Muma. Swing for Nikolishin. Nikolishin, top of the near circle. Side of the T-Bird net, shot on net, save made by Muma. Rebound, picked up in the line, Bear. Down the near wall, Osterman. Behind the net, Kara. Banging away with Davis. Gets the puck out to the front of the net. He's the slot. Shot score! Wayne Peterson gives the T-Bird the lead. But what a heck of a play by Salvin Kara. Savvy looked like his brother, the former Everett Silver Tip winger. He's normally a defenseman. We're going to drag it up the boards. Now Liedahl jumps in and poked it free for Bommel. Bommel left it in front of the T-Bird net. Shot score! Just like that. We're tied in one. Puck wrapped around a tip of the near post. Knocked away by Kolasar. Kolasar behind his zone net. Got it to the blowing. Held in by McDonald. Fires a shot on net. Save. Rebound. Juggled and able to cover it was a blue line. Poked off the wall. Rolling puck. Blue line it goes to Davis. Davis fires a shot. Pad save made by Muma. Hickman pokes it ahead. Another solid uh, game for you guys. Yeah, the guys are guys are really playing uh, playing playing hard for each other. That's the bottom line. They're they're playing hard for each other. They're having fun. They're they're blocking shots. They're you know you can see at the end of the game, uh, last five minutes, they're trying to kill the clock below the goal line. Everybody and it's uh, they're they're playing for each other and they're playing hard right now and it's uh, it's showing on the ice. And just that just, just coming together is that is there anything special that you guys have done or? No, I think the guys have been working hard all year. Maybe a little bit, you know, I think the young guys are continuing to get better and better. I mean, all our guys are working hard and they're, they're getting a little bit better. And now they're a little bit more confident with some wins of late. Uh, they're a little more confident, but uh, nothing we've done different. Uh. Did you feel like with your position in the stand, you had to come out with a pretty hot start after the break? Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, it's all bunched up. It definitely isn't panic time the way everybody's bunched up, but we still, we still couldn't consider ourselves and, and want to believe we're a strong team, and so we want to start pushing to, to climb the ladder. Yeah, that top line was good for you again tonight. They were they were good. Uh, they they were good. I, I thought you know what everybody everybody in the lineup was good tonight. Everybody that's a that's a deep team over there. They have a lot of depth, and uh, you 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 don't win a you don't beat a team like that unless you have everybody going. And your penalty, give it the one penalty, the one power play goal, but otherwise the penalty kill is Penalty solid. kill is solid. Penalty kill is solid there. A couple key kills there. You could have got him back within one there as well. Very, very good job killing the penalties and some good saves by Muma. So, so how important is it to have this little streak going without two of your best players? It's fun. Like I say, it's fun for our guys. They're all stepping up. They're all they're all playing playing a role, and, and they're out there. They're doing the job, and... And they're playing for one another. It's fun. It's fun to watch them play for one another. They, they're again, they're they're doing things because they want to win, not because they they have to. And they they're believing in in, the, in in everything right now in each other. They believe in each other. It's fun to watch how hard they're competing. Mm. So Kolasar and Bear, are they just a couple of guys that have just continually get gotten better as the season? Yes, guys. We definitely have high expectations for coming in the season, but they're definitely getting better and better. And uh, and becoming pretty darn good players when they're when they're going like this. And Luma was good for you tonight. I think he's now played all four division leaders uh, <laughs> in his few starts. Uh, what can you say about him stepping in? Good game. Good, solid game. Uh, deserved a win. A couple of very timely saves at the end. Good for him. Uh, and again, you're not going to beat a team like that without good goaltending. And how nice is it to get a couple power play goals, get that rolling? That's nice. Uh, you need You need special teams to be good at any time, especially down the stretch, five on five, so tight. And, and against this team, you don't get a lot of opportunities usually. And so when you do, you need to take take advantage of them. What in particular do you like from that unit? Look like they were just really moving the puck well. Well, they, they move the puck well. I think they're all pretty strong on the puck and they can win the battles. Mm. That helps you get set up. I think I think our first goal there, that, that was a big part of it is just by just having the puck the whole time, not necessarily making real pretty plays all the time, but uh, being heavy on the puck and finally wearing them down and getting pucks in the net. Uh, you had Kara up front tonight. Uh, he had the nice assist. Uh, how did you think his game? 
That's huge. You pull your fourth line out there and, and they can get a goal. He made a nice play. He wins a battle behind the net, steps right out, give it to Peterson. And, uh, and, and, and Peterson has been playing real good hockey. And he has, he's showing how good a finish he's had of late here too. He's, he's got uh, one of the better shots on the team. Does that show a little bit of Curry's offensive the talent that he has? <laughs> <laughs> well, he does have offensive. Yeah. We see it. You know, he's a young kid that doesn't get a lot of time to show it, but he, he can see the ice and he, and he has a good shot and good vision. So. Mm -hmm. Any update on, on Niles when you might see him back? Uh, he's he's a day to day, so we'll see. How's the crowd tonight? Fun, guys love it. Guys love it. I, again, they they were jack, jacked up. I could tell uh, when when the anthem was over, they were ready to go, and, and they enjoy the crowd. It and gives them so much energy, and it makes it real easy for us behind the bench. If anything, we got to calm them down a little bit. Yeah. By Allen, waiting for. And now the gloves are dropped between Osterman and McDonald in front of the Everett goal. Luke Osterman and Cole McDonald have dropped the gloves at the north end here, the show where center. Osterman got in a tilt last game in Vancouver as well. And there goes the helmet of Cole McDonald, and Osterman's got him in a pretty vulnerable position as now McDonald recovers quickly. Good job. Osterman still has his helmet on. Trying to get that hand free, though, that's being held by McDonald, and the linesman will pull him apart. To Smith at the blue line. Smith turns it bare on top. Give it up. Far boards for Hickman on deflection. Fires a wide-angle shot in front. Tipped on goal. Score! Keegan Kulasar. Denied by the crossbar back in the first period. Not to be denied of the power play here in the second. And the T-Birds regain the lead. Time of the goal. Back in the net as it's Hickman to play it behind the Seattle goal. He gave it away in front of his own net. Shot save made by Muma on the attempt by Lowe. Nice. Jake McKittyuk on side left wing. McKittyuk throws it to the back post and the back post. Back check by Holoko. Took the puck away from the Everett player and then a shot from the left circle by McKittyuk, saved by Muma as net blocked away off the stick of Sherback. Low at the left circle, dump it back on net. Muma knocks it down. Loose puck, poke back on net. Another save made by Muma. Bouncing puck in front of the T-Bird goal, and Muma will smother it, and he will hold it there. And more pushing and shoving going on in front. Ultram on the draw against Balma, wins the draw. Balma got it back as blue line, the shot on net. Save made again by Muma. Kind of flipped up on him, but he will. Uh, good game, how, how fun was that out there tonight? Oh, it was exciting, you know, uh, we got a sold out barn there that adds a lot of momentum to us and you can tell whenever there's a big hit or a goal or something exciting, uh, the fans go crazy and uh, we can hear them and it motivates us. And you guys been going really well now, so I kind of start building on everybody, everybody going to want to chip in? Yeah, you know, we got four deep lines there, three good deep pairings and two good goalies there and, uh, you know, we feel like we can roll with anyone we need to and uh, we feel confident in all our lines that we can score. Yeah, your line continues to be strong, uh, uh, how are you feeling? out there with, with Hickman and Grop? Uh, I feel great. You know, they're two great players. It's easy to play with guys like them. You know, without them, I wouldn't be having the success I would be having. And you guys don't need a center? No, I guess, <laughs> you know, three wingers can handle themselves. You, you feel like you're just coming into your own now? Um, yeah, you know, I'm starting to play more confident. And uh, like I said, Hickman and Grop are easy to play with, and they give me more confidence each game, and uh, it makes it easy to play with. Do you feel like you can rise to the occasion sometimes when you've got these big crowds or like when you went home to play against uh, Brandon, I think it was a month or so ago, kind of seemed to have a big game when uh, the circumstances. Yeah, you know, it's exciting when we have a big crowd here. You get more momentum and uh, guys are excited for this and you have to bring your A game every game and especially these games with these fans that elevates you even more. Who do you like in the U.S. Canada game tomorrow? Oh, Canada, for sure. <laughs> Is that even a question? <laughs> I guess not. We had to get you on record. Wait <laughs> <laughs> for Seattle. Looks to take off up ice. Got it into the zone. Here's Grop. Grop in the slot. Slide it. Shot score! Keegan Colasar, his second of the game. No crossbar this time on the feed by Grop. 3 1 to Seattle. Down. Behind the net, Lawrence still trying to come out and wrap around a temple in their post. Stop there and held. Comes off the goaltender, banged away. Still loose in front of the T-Bird net, knocked wide. Back to Betker on top at the blue line. 
They crisscross. 25 of the power play. Blast by Sherback. Scores inside the near post. I believe it went off the T-Bird defenseman, Jared Hoff, trying to block the shot. Uh, feeds it right circle. Kolasar. Back on top. Bear. Bear to Smith. Back to Bear. One times the shot. Score! Ethan Bear on the power play again. It's 4-2 Seattle. And they will stay on the power play. Deaver's two of three with a man advantage. On McDonald. Quick pass up. Left wing to Miller. He'll skate the puck in. Ripping a shot on goal. Glove down and held top of the crease by Muma with two and a half of the tips. Blue line back to Juleson. Cross ice feed. One timer by Bikoff on net. Save made by Muma. He'll hold it there. Well, Miller comes out in front of the T-Bird net. Enzer fires it. Left it at the blue line for Juleson, though. His high shot on net. Knocked down by the T-Bird goaltender, Muma. Smith. Ball. A nice game. Uh, must have been fun to get out there and get a win. Yeah, of course, especially at home, first home win of the season in front of, you know, probably the biggest crowd at home I've ever played in front of, real loud, two for Tuesday. Gotta love it, it was a lot of fun. And then, and then how tough is that for you? You don't, you don't play as much as you maybe did last year, but you got to get fired up still and come in and, and, and kind of you may be cold, or how, how tough is that? Yeah, it, it's, it's real tough, and, uh, you know, I've been there before, so I prepare the same way for every game, and um, nothing really changes, but... I like to make football references because I'm a big Broncos fan. I know there's a lot of Seahawks fans out there. But uh, anytime, you know, like a backup quarterback comes in, you know, I got to know the snap count. You got to know everything. So same thing with me. I got to be ready. And, and you played against some tough opponents. I think all four division uh, winners and <laughs> starts against. Uh, does that go into, is that you preparing differently when you know you got one of the better teams? Um, of course, every time you play any team, whether it's, you know, a not so good team or a really good team, even though. Every team in this league is good. You uh, you have a, you have a different game plan. They have a different power play. They have a different setup. Uh, but you know, preparation-wise, I'd like to do the same thing. But uh, if it's a different team, of course, yeah, there's a little different things you like to do. You like to know about them. Who's their top scorer? You know, all that stuff. So did you have to calm yourself down, or and, and if you did, how did you do that uh, during the game? Yeah. Um, you know what? This you know my third year here, so anytime, anytime. Um, you know, loud crowd or anything, if they get one to tie it up, like right after we score, I just have to focus on my next shot, my next save. That's the only thing I can control is just that next shot and being ready for that. So do you consider yourself sort of the Brock Osweiler? Um, this kind of <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess. Not as tall. He's like 6'8". So I'm, exactly. I'm down here at 5'10". But um, yeah, sure, you know. You know, anytime you know, backup goalie gets to go in, it's, it's fun to win, fun for the crowd. And everyone, and the team, you know, everyone rallies around you. It's really, it's fun. That team likes to get a lot of traffic, maybe thump you guys a little bit in the net there. Uh, how, did you, how did you feel you handled that tonight? Um, I think I could do better, like that second goal. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It's going to sting my eyes. <laughs> anyway, he always does that, but um, not really. But he got me once before, not in the interview. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, it's okay. Too bad it wasn't like a cream pie or something. It, like tastes better. <laughs> um, what was the question? About them, about them traffic and bumping you. Oh yeah. Um, you know, since um, thanks, Ian. Yeah, you know, I'm not the tallest guy, so I can't really look over people. So I gotta, I gotta fight better through traffic and kind of duck and weave and bob a little bit and just find that puck and. I think, you know, kind of being smaller might even help. I can get down lower, cover the bottom of the net. I'm, you know, I like to use my quickness to my advantage. So anytime that works. When did you know you were going to start? Uh, like right the day we came back from Christmas break. So the 27th, uh, I just came, you know, coach usually just comes up to me in practice, goes, Mooms, you're going whenever I'm going. Is that surprising that you would go against Everett? Uh, you know, no. You know, three and three, I'm, you know, bound to play one of the three games. That's kind of what we've been doing when we have these three and threes. And, you know, Cozen takes a lot of the games, so, you know, I got to come in there and relieve him a little bit. He can't play everyone. So no sleepless nights or anything? No, no. I just kind of go out there and have fun and, you know, nothing to lose. Just uh, play my game. Thanks, Danny. Thanks, guys. Thanks, <laughs>